really used to the grace of God and what it's done in your life, uh, it's time to come back to the old. And uh, like the writer told them in the scripture, he said, do your first works over again. Amen. When you get used to it and you feel like that you got everything figured out, it's time to renew. Amen. Amen. Somebody else got something on your heart tonight you need to do or say. I want to give you plenty of time. Bless you, Aaron. Bless him, Lord. Separate. 
And uh, I thought in the scripture I read to you where it said for us to be a separate people, amen, to be separated. And, uh, and then in, 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 in Peter over here, it talked about uh, us being the royal priesthood, us being, uh, being, uh, us being a chosen generation. Uh, but then he said, a peculiar people. Amen. And I feel like that with all my heart uh, that uh, God's people will be a peculiar people. And uh, God's people will have to separate themselves uh, from the world. Amen. Amen. But uh, peculiar, I looked that word up, and it means strange, odd, or unusual. Amen. Separate means form, uh, forming or viewed as a unit. Apart or by itself. Amen. That means different. Totally different. Amen. And, and, and there's a couple more that was under separate. It says cause up to move or be apart. Or number three, to be apart. Amen. So all the way you look at it, all them definitions that I looked up, Brother Joe, I was talking about being set aside by itself. Amen. Uh, but I, I wouldn't just try to preach it if I had this simple, uh, simple preaching to you tonight about being separated. Amen. Now, in the day's time that we live in, we know as well as anybody does uh, that it's hard to find people uh, uh, that's uh, claiming the name of the Christian uh, that's being separated. Amen. Amen. Uh, you talk to people and you see people, uh, I mean, you all the time. Amen. That, uh, you, you, begin, you begin to question them about, boy, uh, maybe I ought to witness to them. And then uh, they'll turn around and ask you to go to church with them. Amen. Uh, they've not separated themselves uh, from the world. Amen. I read in the Bible, amen, where it said uh, that, that me and you have to be able to be separated. Now, I would ask us a question. I may not get too excited tonight, but I want us to understand some things this morning, A.R. tonight, amen, about being separated. Now, now how in the world, amen, can me and you uh, be a, a separated people and be a peculiar people, amen, uh, when wherever we go in the world, amen, uh, we look just like them, we act just like them, uh, we talk just like them, we do the things that they do, amen, we can't be a separated people. Amen. And be in uh, the house of God. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I know I go back to it all the time. Oh, what Brother Jerry preached not long ago. Either we're all in or we're all out. Amen. Either we're separated or we're not separated. But there is no middle ground when it comes to separated. Now, but now the Bible told him in the scripture here. Uh, he didn't give them an option or a choice. Uh, he didn't say, well, now uh, you got to separate yourself from this. Uh, and you got to separate. You don't have to do that. Hey, but you don't have to do that. Uh, he just told them to be a separated people. Uh, hey, then what does that mean? Uh, hey, man, I believe with all my heart, Brother Herod, uh, uh, that when you separate yourself uh, uh, when God saves you, uh, hey, man, it won't be a chore for you. Uh, I have to separate yourself up from the thing the world. He said to abstain of the appearance of evil. Amen. And what's that mean, preacher? That means get away from it. Amen. Don't be a going after it. Amen. That's why I believe. But now we all know tonight. How many of you tonight if I ask? Amen. Brother, show a hand if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. But how many of you would like to see the power of the realness of the power of God. I know I would. Hey, but I want to see it with everything that's in me. I desire to see the anointing of God. I desire, Brother Joe, to see the power like it was on Pentecost. Hey, Amen. That's my goal in life. I me and Brother Jerry's talked a lot about it. Hey, Amen. I belong to see Pentecost. Hey, Amen. In this day and this hour. Hey, Amen. But I begin to pray this week. And the Lord begin to show me why and that we can't have the Pentecost. Amen. In the day that we live in. And because we're not separated. Amen. Our self and Amen. We're not willing to give up and the things of the world. Amen. For the things of God. And now, church, amen. I want to tell you tonight. If you're separated. 
get in, they didn't tell them, well, this is the way it is. I mean, they was tired. That brother Jeremy that they had, I mean, they had to tell them just how it was. Amen. They was in tight. I mean, there was a time and a season for that. Amen. But they most of the time. Amen. Brother Aaron. But them prophets, they lived an example. Amen. Before them. And they seen God in their life. Amen. What did Moses do? And did Moses come in off of the mountain and say, hey, look at me. I've got the glory of God on me. Oh, no. Ain't been lying whenever they got down there. I mean, Moses come down there. Ain't been they seen it. Up in their own eyes. Ain't been what that say. Ain't been that shows in his life. Ain't been it told on him. Ain't been how Moses get that. Uh, Moses had to separate himself. Uh, Moses had to get himself alone. And that's what we're not willing to do. Amen. Amen. What you got to separate from, preacher? Amen. You may not like me out of this. Amen. But you got to separate anything that ain't like God. Amen. Anything that ain't like God. Get rid of it. Amen. Anything. Amen. That comes between you and God. Get rid of it. Amen. Separate his Lord. Amen. I, I don't get me wrong out there. Amen. Separate. Amen. It's more than just separate yourself. Amen. From a, a television. Amen. Separates more and then separate yourself from the honky tonks. And it comes down to your individual life. Amen. You've got to start separating. When I clean out my closet, I don't clean out her closet. Amen. Even though it joins and it's all one closet, I know what clothes is mine. Woo. I know what clothes is mine. And when I go to separate it and I go to clean it, I clean my own. Oh, what a living. 
grace of the Lord. Amen. For being separated. I can sit here all day long. And I can tell you story after story. About churches after churches. Amen. That they've separated themselves. But what, but what good is that going to do you? Hear me talk about everybody else. How they ain't separated. Amen. But you know what? You're going to help you. Oh, and I'll tell you how I separated. And I'll tell you how we got. Amen. Help me to separate. How God help me to be 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 courier. To be different. To be up the odd and be strange. Amen. But if we can't be that, amen. If we ain't where we need to be, I'm just going to come down a little close on. All right. Amen. If we ain't sanctified, and sanctified means to be pure, and to be holy, and to be blameless, and to be spotless. That's what sanctified is. And unless you're sanctified, you ain't got one man that's open in your mouth about anybody else and their life and the way they live. But see, here's the thing. It's so easy for me to see that you ain't separated. It's so easy for me to see that you ain't mature. But it's hard for me to see where my fault is and where my failures are. You know those saying goes, Kathy. When you got one finger pointed, you got three pointing back. When I'm pointing at you, there's three more going right back in my room. Amen. Amen. I ain't got time. I talked to I either talked to the priest here not long ago. I've not got time to fool your life. I've not got time to fool your being. I've got enough to do in my being. Amen. I've got to keep me right. I've got to do what Nathan needs to do uh, to get Nathan where he can be separated. I've got to do what I need to do. Amen, Crystal, to keep me to be secure. Uh, that others may see God uh, in my life. Uh, do you think Apostle Paul? Uh, everybody knows that Paul was a good man. Uh, did everybody think that Paul uh, went down the street and he said, Hey, look at me, I'm a courier. Oh, no. Amen. I believe when Paul walked down the street, uh, they seen a different brother there. Uh, in Paul's walk, uh, they seen a different in his walk. Uh, and I'm going to preach to you tonight. Uh, amen. You didn't catch Paul uh, going down the road uh, saying these four letter words, uh, these little by words. Uh, I'm going to preach to you that cuss words, uh, but it's still a by word. Uh, amen. You better be careful uh, in what you're saying. Uh, because God said uh, to be separate from the world. Amen. Then my little bathroom words, they lead up to something else. Amen. They lead up to something else. And then something else leads up to something else. And then before you know it, instead of one of them little four letter words when you get mad, you let out one of them big old cuss words. Hey, y'all with me tonight? I'm still preaching on separating. And then be coming out from among the world of being separated. I don't know how God saved you. I don't know what God done for you when He saved you. But I know what He done for me, Brother Raymond. But God saved me. But He changed me. He put something else on the inside of me. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be peculiar. I wanted to be separated from the world. Amen. Amen. He didn't give me. Whenever He saved me, He changed my eyes. Hey Amen. I don't, I no longer desire to look at the things I want to see. I no longer desire to look at the same things that I want to see. Hey Amen. You know why? He changed my desire. That's part of being separated. Hey Amen. You know what the Bible said about lust, don't you? It said when it's finished, it bring it for sin. And when sin's finished, it bring it forth. That boy, it's getting hard in here. Amen. I tell you tonight, amen, we have to be separated. If we're not separated, how in the world can we expect our family to see a difference in us and to see God in us if we ain't willing to be careful? Amen. Amen. God changed me. He gave me so well, Joe, he didn't just save my heart. He saved my mind. Amen. He changed my desires. He didn't get yeah, I mean, he turned me from the rest. I hope he doesn't use that way. Amen. 
but it gave me something totally different than what I was used to. Amen. They give people look down. Amen. Their nose on me. I never would forget my little mama. Amen. And y'all call that with me here if you want to. But my mama never did cover back. Amen. Never once with scissors in my mama's hair. Amen. From the time I know her. Amen. Never once did mama wear makeup. Amen. I'm not telling you my mama's a saint. Amen. My mama still had things. But I'm still going to preach to you. Amen. But hey, you know what mom did. Amen. Mom still was, mom still had problems. But here's what mom did. I've seen mama make fun of. I've seen mama people cut jokes about my mama. And make fun of her call her name. But hey, what did mama do? Did mama give in? No, mama didn't give in. Mama just said, bless in. Be the name of the Lord. And she said, bless in. Be the name of the Lord. I'm glad tonight. If you'll stand for God, God will stand for you. Amen. I've seen them make comments about her higher. Tell her, look at that old horse man. I've seen, I've seen my mama Chad made so much fun of that it wasn't anybody. Hey, man, there's a good old preacher friend of mine from Tennessee, and I know some of you know him. Hey, man, his wife had done it the same way. Hey, man, preacher, I'm not going to be made fun of my cat. Well, it just be my It's either take head, it's either take head. Hey, man, or, or just don't be separated. Hey, man, I don't care to be different. I know, I think it was some of our young girls. Uh, maybe I ain't got it mixed up. Uh, but some of our girl, young girls uh, was up in Eagles and got made fun of. Uh, and got made to lie up. Uh, 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 but let me tell you what. Uh, you just keep standing for God. Uh, you just keep being different. Uh, you keep being the church. Uh, and uh, you may not think nobody sees it. Uh, uh, but there's a God. Uh, I said there's a God. Uh, that sees how you are. Uh, and he'll bless you in your new time. Preaching that we're in a new modern day. I think from the way I read it, when I was about five, six year old, when I can remember sitting in my mom and daddy's living room. And that's the same Bible that I sit in right now, is the same Bible that my daddy read to me. It's not changed. You know who's changed? We have. We have. We have well, preacher, you can't be so hard on them, you'll run them off. You can't, you can't do that. You can't run them off. We got to have We got to have our dollars. Hey, Amen. Let me tell you what. I'm going to not have your dollar. And keep you her soul out of hell. And to keep you from being. Hey, Amen. Mixed in with the wrong beliefs. And the wrong doctrines. I'd rather than see you die lost. And go to hell. Amen. 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 We got to be different. Hey, Amen. We got to be different, boys. We got to be different. Now, if you go out there in the world and you dress just like the world, how are you going to have they going to tell the devil to you? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Amen. If I don't dress no different out there, how are they going to know me? Amen. Amen. If you don't dress no different at all, okay. Amen. Then what you do around home? Amen. Don't want you. You better come on now. Amen. The way I dress, the way I dress at home. Amen. I don't wear no devil most of the time. Amen. In my house. And then what I do at the house of God. Amen. What are you talking about, preacher? Of being separated. If we're not separated, amen, God can't bless over sin. And if we're not no different than the world, how do you think God's alive with me and you? Amen. When he looks down in there, you say, well, preacher, God looks at the heart. He does look at the heart. Amen. But he give me and you some beauties. Yeah. That's right. He give me and you some duties to go by. That me and you got to do. Now he's not going to hog tie you and make you do things. Right. Amen. He give you a free choice on some things. Amen. If you don't want to do it, that's your fault. Amen. At home, that's the thing Greg told you to do. Amen. If you didn't want to do it, you just took the consequences and went on. Amen. But here at the thing in the house of God. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm not going to make you do it. Amen. But God's not going to make you do it. But there's coming a great time of day uh, that you'll wish you had. Uh, and that you wish you'd have been separated. Uh, you wish you'd have been peculiar and different before God. Uh, Think about doing it at home. Would daddy come in 
in her book's hand. And he's with me with the bell. And it's over with. Amen. But on judgment, when God looks at me and says, Depart from me, you work with a manipulator, I'll never know you. It's over. Right. There ain't no, there ain't no redoing it. Right. There ain't no fixing it no more. Right. Amen. Amen. Boy, I'm going to preach while I'm here. Right. Amen. There ain't no redoing it. Amen. We want to think that we can, uh, we're going to slip one in on the Lord. Uh, we're going to slip one in. And everything's going to be fine. You ain't going to slip one in. You ain't going to slip one in. Amen. God knows every one of your sins. But the Bible said, be sure that your sins will find you out. And that nothing's here before God. God's got all eyes upon you. And He knows all about you. Amen. Amen. Separate. Being separated from the world is how we can have the power of God. The more that I separate, now I'm going to tell you something. <coughs> you think I got to live just like you, preacher? got to live just like me. You've got to live just like that word tells you. Whatever that word tells you, baby, that's how you have it. And whatever that word tells me, baby, I have it. Now, there's personal convictions and God's convicted me open that it ain't wrong for you. But it's wrong for me to do it because God's convicted me. Amen. Amen. That's just like not long ago. Amen. God convicted me. Amen. I tell you, where was that? It's right up here at this, whatever this restaurant is. What is that best restaurant? Right up there. Amen. I went in there and sat down to eat. Amen. And God convicted me so bad, Joe. He said, my goodness, look at you where you're at. I mean, alcohol signed all over the wall. And I thought, Lord, where am I? Amen. I said, God, you help me get out of here. I'll never be back in this place. I'll never go somewhere. If I can help it by my remembrance in a place that's got alcohol. And you know why? Because God wants us to be the helper. Some old lost boy comes in and you say, Preacher, you ought to have more than that. But what if an old lost boy that I've witnessed to comes in there and sees me sitting right under one of them Bud Lights? Amen. 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 Y'all with me? Amen. Y'all with me? What's he going to say? Well, there's that preacher. He told me about the Lord and invited me to come down there to this church. That's right. Y'all with me? That's what God convicted me of. And I said, Lord, I've got to do something about this. So I made a vow to the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm not saying this to boast on me. I'm just telling you about some differences that God has helped me to make in my life. Amen. I said, Lord, if you help me, I'll not go back in a place like that again. You know why? I don't want, I don't want to be a hindrance uh, to nobody making it to heaven. Uh, I, don't want, I don't want to get up and preach to you uh, uh, that you've got to be different and that you've got to be separated. Uh, if I'm not going to separate and be different myself. Amen. I said, enough of them. I said, well, get up and tell people how they ought to live and how they ought to dress and how they ought to, how they ought to do, make their youngins do it. But when they get young, it's all a different story. Yeah. It's all a different story whenever they get young. Now, Pastor Ray, I'm going to lie, I bust his tail. But when it's a... <laughs> Don't do that. That's right. You're making me look bad. Don't do that. Hey, remember, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to your home, it's a different story. I mean, it's easy for you to hark at me. It's easy for you to hark at Joe. It's easy for you to hark at Kelsey and David. I mean, and Curtis and Chester. But when it comes knocking on your door, it be a different story. I mean, you be different. I be different. And we all can be different with the Lord's hand. Amen. You young girls, you don't worry about looking different. You just look different. Be holy. Look holy. Look good. Amen. Go, go before the world. Not with shame face. Amen. That's what he said. He said, not with shame faces. Amen. Don't be ashamed with what you do. And don't be ashamed with how you look. Amen. Don't be ashamed with how you dress. Amen. But be proud in what God's made you to be. Amen. Be proud that God's given you his heal. Amen. To live for God. Be proud that God has helped you to be different in a world that's like we're in. Uh, but if you ain't careful, you'll be right in the same group as the rest of them. And nobody can tell you apart. Amen. 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 Amen, boys. It's easy. You know, we're in the world and hear them all, in your, all your buddies talking all that vulgar talk. 
Tell them dirty joke and tease it for you to cut in and laugh. Yeah. That's not a man. No. But you indicate what a man is? A man is going to walk away from Christ. And say, I'm not going to listen to that. Amen. I'm going to be different. Amen. That goes for the adults too. Yeah. And then it takes more of a man or more of a woman to walk away from a situation and say, no, I'm not going to listen to that. You know that's what's wrong with us now? We just sit down and hide. Well, you know, I, I'm not taking this for this party. Well, tell me anyway. Tell me anyway. It's all right. Tell me anyway. It'll be all right. Amen. We are so nosy. We're so nosy. Amen. The people that you tell me, I tell you, we're so nosy. Amen. We can't know We can't know a second without knowing somebody else's business or, or what somebody else has got to say. Amen. I don't want to hear it. Amen. I want to be there. Y'all lie, right? Make sure nobody's quit breathing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I want to be different. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about your business. Your business is your business. Amen. You know what God called me to do? God called me to preach to you. Amen. God didn't call me to be your house inspector. <laughs> Amen. 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 God didn't call me to come to your house, Brother Jerry, and go through your bed, bed, your bedrooms, go through your clothes, and go through your door. He didn't call me to do that. He called me to be a preacher. He called me to be instant in season, out of season, under a cube and a rebuke, and drawing sword of a long, long suffering. You said, preacher, hey, amen, why do you preach like you do? I'm trying to be long suffering with you, and because God is coming one day, and he's coming to get the separate people, and if we ain't ready, we won't go. Amen. 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 God didn't call me to claim you. God give you enough, enough wisdom, enough understanding to read that blessed book that you can clean your own life up. Amen. Yeah. Ain't that right? Somebody say amen. amen. God give you enough knowledge. And if you can't read that, they've even got it fancy now that you can get it on CD. You can get it on tape. Amen. You can get it on whatever. The Holy Bible. Of the King James Version. And you can sit down and you can listen to it. And you can ask the Lord to help you understand it. And God will help you understand it. Oh, but here's the problem. Why we ain't ever, we don't ever pick it up outside the house of God. Yeah. Amen. We ain't, that's why we ain't no different. That's why we ain't separate. We ain't nothing but time for it. I've got to work. I've got to work. I've got to work. I've got to sleep. I've got to sleep. Hey, man, let me tell you something, John. Didn't sleep with your damn buddy. Stay in that word of God. Stay in that book. And pray. And ask God help that you can be different. You'll sleep when you're in the grave. If we don't stay in that word, if you never read that Bible, the only thing that you want to know is what I preach you. Now y'all say we're going. The only thing that you'll know if you don't ever read your Bible is what you hear me preach. Jeremy preach. Todd preach. Ain't that right? If you never pick it up any other place, you're just going to know what you're hearing. Right. Amen. Amen. But here's what he said. He said that, but not just be a hearer of the word, but be a doer. Amen. In order to be a doer, I don't know how some of y'all are. I know some of you are just smart in design. Amen. A lot of times I'm not going to take your word for it. I got to know it for myself. And you tell me how the dirty roadblock is there. I'm probably going to drive up there and see what the roadblock is. Amen. That's just the way I am. Amen. See, the preacher man's told us some things, and he's helped us by the whole, by the anointing of God and the Holy Ghost of God how to be separated and how to live different. Amen. But here's what we do: we're going to drive and see what the roadblock is. We're going to see what it's all about, and the whole time our life ain't showing no difference. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We're going up there to find out. We all we drive up there for. Find out we gotta find how we're gonna get turned around and get back out. <laughs> I 
I'm not telling you that I'm the only preacher that's right, or Jerry's the only preacher that's right. There's plenty of great men of God that we've come in contact with here in this church. God has sent some great men of God in our lives. Amen. Y'all agree with that? I believe every one of them has preached their spine on how we need to do it. But you ever heard the saying, it's up to you now. It's up to us now. Are we going to be different? Are we going to set back? Or are we just going to do just enough that we don't want to call? Ain't that what a lot of the somebody like me actually can do? All they say is, y'all, won't you? I can, I can hide it. That's what we're doing at the church. We're sleeping in just, just enough to make an appearance. Just enough to say, I went to church this morning. I went to church tonight. But what about if I go down under where you was at shopping today? And I say, hey, was that so and so down there today? How different was that? Yeah. And they say, well, no. Well, no, the and the rat and the rage. Because their order wasn't right. They went through the drive through and chewed that lady out. Hey, Amen. I'm going to tell you something, church. It's bad. And this probably out here we've been going through about these things. It's bad that church people leave the church. Go up here to the drive through somewhere. They can't even pull through the drive through without losing their kids. Yeah. 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 And we wonder why the church has got the name that it's got. Yeah. That's right. We wonder right. why the church world society is the way it is. Because they yeah. people going through the drive through, throwing through back through the wind. God help. <laughs> if you didn't if you didn't want it, you should want to go to the house. I mean, God give you the capability to go to England, get what you want, go home and fix it.
And you tell me your deal. That's not being different. That's not being separate. If we're really separated like we ought to be, we'd do like the Bible said. The problems would be the person. He said we'd be slow to speak, but we'd be swift. That's right. So listen to what God says. Young people, listen to me. Please, please listen to me. It's critical that you listen to me. You can't say anything good about what we're doing in this church. Amen. Amen. If you've got a concern in the right column, take it. Amen. 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 That's how you be different. That's how you be separate. You know what? If you bring, if you come to me and you say, Preacher, you believe what? You believe God and God 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 this, just that, God this, just that. You know what I'm gonna look at you today? Oh, you'll meet me. <laughs> I can't fix it. When you take it to the Lord, that's right. He can fix it. That's right. That's where you begin to be a sinner. That's when you're separated. As he said, she said, he told me. I believe. You ever heard them ones that come to you? I don't know why I'm here, but I'm going to stay here for the rest of you ever heard them one? Well, now, so-and-so told me, I believe it come from a reliable source, and I believe they would not tell me no lie. <laughs> that so-and-so said it is. So-and-so said it is. And they say, I, I believe it's the truth. I would, I would, I would, not, I would not say anything they said. As long as they, I know they'd tell me the truth. You would stop them right there and say, well, don't tell me. That's right. Because it's probably a lie. Amen. That's what people do. They build up their confidence to think that they would not tell you no lie. And then they'll fill you full of the office of garbage ever be to make you lose confidence in somebody else. That's right. That's, I know church. I've been around for a while. I've been around a lot of these. I got hurt in my own church over this same stuff. We don't need this. Less of that that we can do about each other, the better off we're going to let. If I can't say something good about y'all, no, I'm going to say that. If I can't say nothing good to encourage y'all, I'll just need to walk by and say, hey, y'all. And I appreciate it. We've got to be different. We've got to be peculiar. You know what would really be strange, peculiar? You know what really kept somebody to think that you're peculiar when they walk up to you and say, you, need you say, well, stop. Over here. They're going to walk away, they're going to say, well, he's strange. Yeah. That's right. Because everybody wants to hear God's. <laughs> if you don't believe it, God will telephone company and ask them how many phone calls are made in between morning service and night service on Sunday. Oh. I bet guarantee there's more phone calls in it. You know what? We're going to tell everybody about what's going on, what's, what's so and so done, what's so and so done. You can't be different. But when you stop and judge that, what we do, just pray about it. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say, there's these strength in the room. These things are different. I want the real power. I want the real stuff, can't you? In order to get that, we're going to have to show people we're different. We're going to have to get to the place to where people can look at us in town or wherever we're at. And say, well, we're different. There's something different. Come and kill just for me. I'm okay. I ain't trying to kill you. The Lord knows my heart. And I'm not trying to kill you. We have to be separated, church. There comes a fine line. I can preach on separation for months, dear Jerry. For months, I can preach on separation. We've got to show a difference. So 
Thank <laughs> you. 